Now, all of these characters sound like people who are prepared to cheat or at least justify cheating next year. After all, if Trump really is what they say he is, the man who will end democracy, a Hitlerian figure, then how could he possibly be allowed to be able to run for office, be approaching the White House? If they really believe what they're saying, shouldn't we expect that they'll try to defeat him or knock him off by any means necessary? Oh my God, these evil people at Fox News are doing it again. You see the disingenuous lying on Laura Ingram's face when she speaks. You can tell she knows she's selling a false narrative and selling it badly, but it's good enough because her viewers are not smart enough to understand exactly what she knows that she's doing. Also, Hitlerian is not a phrase. Hitler was his name Adolf Hitler. A Hitlerian figure? Hitlerian, if anything. And also, how about let's just not use a phrase where it makes Hitler's name not instantly recognizable, makes it sound like a fun genre. You cannot do in a democracy exactly what she is doing, exactly what Trump did in 2016 and in 2020. Pretend that your opponent is going to cheat and steal the election with zero evidence of that whatsoever, specifically so that you can sow disbelief when your side loses. It is the most anti-democratic act possible other than straight up insurrection, which Oh yeah, Trump also did in 2020 and led and encouraged people to so much not believe that he lost the election, that they were gonna go and get their country back. Not thinking they were stopping a free and fair election to give it to Trump, but instead thought they were stopping evil to give it to the good who knew he was lying to them, still knows, and all of his lackeys, including Laura Ingram at Fox News knows as well. And then, she, of course, betrays herself by saying, if they know they can't win, shouldn't we expect them to lie, cheat, and steal, do everything possible by all means possible? Make sure they don't lose power? No, because that's what your side would do on account of the lack of morals. You see, when you assume that the other side is going to cheat and steal with no evidence of it, it just out loud makes clear that your mind believes the only choice when you lose, or when you think you're gonna lose, is to cheat. You just basically admitted to cheating by doing that. So let her do a little more. They hound and they torment January 6th protesters and treat trespassing like it's treason. And because the voters are turning to Trump, all they can do is write insipid articles alleging the same old, same old. They're so angry that they're prepared to break the whole system, perhaps even laying the groundwork for election interference next November, because they just don't care. It's about winning. That's all that matters. Did she dare to say that they're so angry they're gonna be willing to burn down the whole system, perhaps even laying the groundwork for election interference? I mean, it's exactly what that side does. It's exactly what Laura Ingram and Donald Trump and Sean Hannity and all the lawmakers loyal to Trump for some inexplicable reason, specifically what they do. So does she then throw the rest of the entire government under the bus with no evidence? Roll it. If it means compromising the credibility of the DOJ, the FBI, the CIA, DHS, and the CDC, even the military, ah, then so be it. She just listed every department of government, evidence-free, and said Dems are corrupting all of those and losing all their credibility, according to only you who pretends that when your side's crimes get investigated, that it's because it's politicization of those organizations when in fact they're doing a thing called following evidence that they continuously find the evidence of. Wild goose chases are ones that don't find the evidence they're looking for, and then they keep doing more of those. But that is not what happens here. And it's the most devious, scandalous, disgusting thing you could do. It's exactly when Trump, as the 2020 election approached, said, if they win, you know it's because they stole the election, because it's impossible for them to win without doing so. Elections in our country go back and forth. They're always neck and neck. Only a few percentage points generally determine winners and losers. But suddenly when it's Trump running, it's impossible for him to lose. Well, yeah, it is when he doesn't concede power. So should we just make him a king at this point? Would his followers just want him to be the king of America? At least we probably haven't sunk that far. Roll it. Then maybe we'll have to make him king. Do we, would we want to go back to a monarchy? You don't know what's going to happen. Would you be, if they decided to go back to a monarchy and make Donald Trump the king, would you be okay with that? I would do that versus what we're at now. Yeah. With that, with the system being manipulated and corrupted, 
It isn't a true democracy. I found Waldo, and Waldo is an idiot. I think now we understand why he mostly starred in picture books. One of the few books that didn't have what books are normally known for, which is smart words. This person literally just said she'd rather have Trump as king than have the system as it is now, where it's not a true democracy. You mean like when there's a king? I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. Follow me at Ben Glebe on Instagram, where I spend most of my life.